Have you ever heard the term cybernator? Sure, isn't that one of those uh, hologram movies? I want a way to post short videos more frequently, so I'm trying a series in which I show clips from an underrated bad movie while talking about it. It's a radical idea, but let's give it a go. Cybernator is the 1991 directorial debut of Robert Rundle, who drew heavily on Blade Runner for his future noir tale of burnt-out cops tackling impossible corruption in a society on the brink of collapse. McCord, this whole country is this close. This close to busting right at the seams. And you know what's holding it together? Two things. The army and us. Oh yeah? Well, who's policing the army? The action takes place in the mid-21st century, we're told, a time when cybernetic enhancement has become commonplace, and sees Detective Brent McCord's eyebrows, each played by Lonnie Schuyler, investigate a spate of political killings committed by the budget Borg of a renegade colonel played by William Smith. At your service. But that plot's just a framework for the director's real interest. Self-identity, the nature of free will, and kung fu cyborgs. <laughs> Despite being the only one of Rundle's three features I didn't cover in the bad movie Bible, Cybernator's just as entertaining as post-apocalyptic ninja nonsense run like hell, when the time comes to fight, you must fight like a badger, and the divine enforcer, which is about a vigilante priest. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name! I don't want to get sidetracked, but this movie's amazing. I, I forgive. God forgives, but I don't. Cybernator's probably a little more accessible, its deficiencies more within the realm of reason. The sets are apparently made of cardboard and frequently fail to reach the edge of the frame. The dialogue's so awful nobody wants you to hear it. What happens to me if you go off and you get yourself killed? I'm not the one that's gonna die tonight. And the acting is... there. Piss off, bitch. Fuck you, faggot. That was the director himself, and in addition to William Smith and Lonnie Schuyler, were also treated to Jimmy Williams, who appeared in dozens of Fred Olin Ray movies, and of course Samurai Cop. Let's fuck. Shut up. But Schuyler's the main reason to see this thing. Yes, sir. McCord was his first film role, but he stuck at acting despite a uniquely expressive approach, which failed to bag him another significant role. Can't you see that something is very, very wrong? In his defence, he spends half the movie looking like he's waiting to be told the take's no good and to go again. Here, Rundle's determined to carry on, even with the guards late coming in and Williams dropping his pencil on the microphone. You finished, right? Then, having got this far, nobody seems sure how the scene's meant to end. Despite being a bit sleazy, Rundle's films are all somehow really likeable. In fact, one, Vampire Hunter, is so well considered that it has a healthy 7 out of 10 IMDb rating despite never having been made. What? The movies that do actually exist are like puppies who shit on the kitchen floor and then redeem themselves by falling backwards into a plant pot. They're horrendously incompetent, but just so happy to be they can hardly keep it together. Chainsaw! <laughs> Apparently that quality comes from Rundle's deep love of genre cinema. I once tried to track him down and sadly learned he'd recently passed away after a long battle with prescription drugs. But I spoke to various actors and crew members who'd worked with him, not to mention his ex-wife Linnea Quigley, and they all agree he was a particularly good guy with an unbridled love of B-movie schlock. I'd like to go off on a Rundle tangent here, but the point is to keep these videos short, so I won't tell the story about Jan Michael Vincent being made to sleep on the set of The Divine Enforcer. Apparently locking him in a Winnebago at night was the only way to ensure the profoundly thirsty actor would be there for filming in the morning. Can you believe that? Actually, that pretty much is the story. So Cybernator, it's a great little movie. Cyborg scum, got the passion of a toaster. Some of my best friends are toasters.